What's good, fellas? Welcome to this presentation. This is Trey. And the topic for today is enjoy your struggle. It's a part of your life story. Right? <clears throat> when we go and watch a movie, we don't want to watch no movie where everything is just so easy for the main character. Like everything is just, he's just going through the movie and, you know, there's no challenge, there's no adversity. Right? He has no weakness. He's just perfect. Everything is amazing. He gets the girl. He doesn't have to try. And it, that's, not, that's not an interesting movie, bro. We, when we go and watch a movie, we want to see somebody who's overcoming some challenges. We want to see somebody who is the underdog and, he's, and he figures out how to beat the, the big dog. Right? We want to see a movie of somebody who has shit going against him and he finds a way somehow, some way. To achieve his goals like those are the kind of movies that inspire us those are the kind of movies that are captivating that are interesting to watch and so you got to see your life like that you are creating a movie you are creating a life story your life your struggles the adversity the challenges the trauma all that shit you went through that's what's making your movie of life right and this is what you're going to be able to tell these stories and inspire people look this is what i went through and i was able to make something out of it. I was able to t turn shit into sugar, right? I was able to make shit. I was able to take lemons and turn it into lemonade, right? That's what you want to do with your life. You don't want to be the dude that's over here complaining, oh, why is this happening to me? Or complaining, oh, why couldn't it be this way? Why couldn't I be this, look like this guy? Why couldn't I have that money? Why can't I have that? Bro, that nobody wants to see that shit, bro. We don't want to watch no movie or no guy complaining like that. We want to see the dude that's, yo, he's focused, he knows what he wants to do, he knows his goals, he knows his vision, you know, and he's he's locked in, he's focused, he's like, yo, I'm gonna make this shit happen, right, he's in this masculine energy, he's going after shit, okay, he's being challenged, he's been, you know, disrespected, people don't believe in him, but he believes in himself, right, He his energy is on point, his vibe is on point, he's like, yo, fuck this shit, man, I'm gonna make this shit happen, I don't care what nobody says. I don't care what happens. I'm going to figure out a way, right? Even when he's in the worst of times, even when it's dark, he can't see the light. Somehow, some way, he keeps pushing forward. That's what we want to see. That's what we want to hear. Those are the stories that are interesting. Those are the stories that inspire us, right? Those are the men we can look up to, the men that have been through some things, and we're like, yo, how did you get through that, bro? And he was like, man, I don't even know how I went through it, but I just kept pushing forward. I never refused to give up, right? That's how you got to look at your life. You got to enjoy it, bro. You got to enjoy it. See it as, as an interesting challenge, bro. See it as, yo, you're in a movie, right? This is your movie. This is your chance to show what type of man you are. What do you do? What do you do when things get tough? We already know, you know, it's very easy to be cool and, and everything to be great when things are going easy. Yeah, of course. But what happens when everything is going wrong? What happens when you don't know how you're going to pay your rent uh, this month? What happens when you don't know uh, the girl won't text you back and no girl wants to fuck with you? What happens when, you know, your family is, you know, not helping you or whatever? Like, that's, we want to find out what type of man you, what are you going to do in the movie? Well, watching the movie, what's up, you know? You're the star, you're the star leading role in your movie, bro. In your story. Right? What do you do? Right? Are you the dude that's just like, ah, oh, man, you know what? Man, I don't know about this, man. I don't know. Are you the guy that's doubting himself? You know, talking shit to his own self. Right? How are you going to talk shit to your own self, bro? You got you to gotta raise yourself up. You got to speak positive to yourself. Because nobody's going to do it for you. Nobody's coming to save you. You're a man. You're supposed to make this shit happen. You're supposed to be saving others. You got first. You got to save yourself, though, right? You got to make sure you're good. You got to make sure your shit is on point. You know. You got to ba battle your demons. Then once you once you've handled your demons, then you can go and inspire others and say, "Yo, look, if I could do it, you could do it too." That's your movie. That's the movie you're creating right now, right? You want to be able to to help the the generation coming up after us, right? You want to be able to show them, yo, look, you know, this is what I went through and look what I was able to create. You can do the same. You're the future. 
right? But you can, you're not gonna be able to inspire nobody if you was just full of shit. You know, you was uh, breaking down and making excuses and complaining the whole time. Nobody, you, nobody's gonna hear your words. They're gonna come across too weak. We're not gonna feel the passion and emotion and the pain of what you went through, right? You wanna be a better communicator. You wanna be more, influence people more. You gotta live more. People wanna hear in your voice that you done been through some shit and you got through it, right? They want to hear that pain. They want to hear that, that um, you know, that courage. They want to hear that, 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 that beingness of someone who is surviving, some somebody who is is figuring it out each day, each day somehow, some way he's making shit happen. They want to hear that that coming through your voice, coming through your body language, your energy, right? You want to be interesting. You want to be attractive to women. This this shit is attractive. The man who is enjoying the process of his life, the man who's creating a story, a movie that people want to watch, that people want to hear, you know? You want to be a great storyteller, just have an amazing life so you could just talk about your life. Yo, this look what happened to me last month. I'm going to tell you, bro. I'm going to tell you, you ain't going to believe what happened last month. But they don't want to hear, they don't, they don't want to hear some shit happen and then you went in a depression. They don't want to hear that. That's not going to inspire anybody, bro. We, we, you know, it's even, you know, part of this enjoying your life is, is becoming selfless, right? You know, becoming selfless in the sense that, yo, if somebody was watching me, how, what could I do? What would be inspirational to do right now? How would I inspire the youth? How would I inspire my son? If my son was watching me, what would, what would make him proud? Maybe that's how, maybe you need to do something like that. You know, instead of being selfish and just saying, ah, you know what, man, because it's, it's what you do when nobody's looking. That's what creates your character. What do you do when nobody's watching, bro, behind closed doors? That's what creates your character. That's what creates your beingness, right? Because it's easy to, to put on a, a front when people are watching, right? You don't want to, you know, you want to look cool. You don't want to embarrass yourself, or whatever. But what happens when nobody's watching, when there's no... There's no, uh, you don't have to do certain things, right? You don't have to step up. You can just sit back and, right? What are you doing when no one's watching? Like me, I want to live my day from morning until night. I want to live a day that I'm proud of. Each day, I treat each day as a lifetime, right? From morning to night, I'm doing shit that, you know, if I look back at it, I could say, yeah, I respect that dude. I respect myself. You want you want more self-respect, you want more confidence. You got to make yourself proud. You got to be proud of what you're doing in your life. You got to be proud of how you handled that tra that challenge. Proud of how you handled that tragedy. Proud of how you handled that adversity. You know, you can't be embarrassed of your life, embarrassed of who you are. You ain't going to get no women. You're not going to make no money. You're not going to attract no opportunity like that. Nobody wants to be around that energy, bro. It's your vibe. Talk, I was talking about the, the, the video before this. I was talking about what's the most attractive vibe. The vibe of a man who's winning. That's the most attractive vibe. What do I mean by winning? A man that's moving forward. A man that's progressing. A man that's evolving. A man that's doing something with his life. A man that's actually alive, bro. Not, not just existing. A man that's alive. A man that's burning with passion. How can you, what can you do? How can you get to this point? You got to look, you got to figure out what is my purpose? What is my gift? What am I here to do on this planet? Am I just here to just be a regular, just another dude, just another average Joe that just, you know, made some money, paid his bills, and that was it? I don't know about all that, man. I want to do some great shit, you know? That's my vibe. And, and you want to get into this vibe of, I want to do the best I can do with what I've been given. That's the vibe, right? So there's a humble, there's a humbleness there too, because you know, you know, you have different animals in the jungle. The lion is supposed to do what the lion's supposed to do. The shark's supposed to do what the shark's supposed to do. The horse is supposed to do what the horse's supposed to do. The, the, the bear's supposed to do what the bear's supposed to do. Right, and so you do you do what you're supposed to do with what you've been given, the qualities you've been given, the strengths you've been given. What can you do with that? How can you impact the world? 
right? How can you make the lives of others better? What value are you giving? Because I tell you what, whatever you want, you're going to have to give before you can get it. Like that's, that's how the universe works. You're not going to get what you want out of life unless you're willing to give. What are you willing to give? And you have to give first. You're not going to get first. You have to give first. I, I, I've, I've tried enough things, done enough things to know this shit is true. This shit is facts, right? Like if you want a really, you know, if your goal is to attract like a, a high caliber woman, a woman that's of quality, both in her looks and her personality on those things, what are you giving in order to receive that? Because you got to remember there's other men out there. So she would have to be choosing you against all those other men. So what, why would she do that? What are you giving? What do you, what do you possess? What kind of energy do you give off? What kind of vibe do you create for these women? What kind of experiences? What kind of emotions are they going to feel? Right? We all want to feel certain emotions, right? Like me, I want to feel confidence. I want to feel powerful. I want to feel um, peace. I want to feel love. There's certain emotions I want to feel. And so think about it. If a woman, if I'm in the presence of a woman and I feel these things, I'm going to want to be around this woman, right? Maybe, you know, and this is, this is just, you know, I'm sure this, this will make sense to you. It's like if someone can transfer somehow or create the emotions within you that you want to feel, that person becomes likable person becomes someone you want to be around right and so when it comes to women it's like how can you how can you be that to a woman how can you transfer or create the emotions in her that she wants to feel that's the game right that's how you get the woman essentially right because if you if you're triggering the wrong emotions in her you're, you're gonna repel her she's gonna run away from you right so it's triggering the right emotions when you're interacting communicating to a woman Right? What kind of emotions are you giving off? That's why I'm saying this winning vibe is attractive because you're communicating all the, the right things. When you have this winning energy, this forward moving energy, this energy of I'm evolving, I'm growing, and I'm doing this shit. I don't need anything from anybody. Right? My energy is so great. It's so amazing that anything is possible. And I don't need you know, anything from anyone. That's when people start giving you shit. Right? Because they can feel your energy. They feel like, yo, I can invest in this stock, man. This stock is going up. I'm going to invest in this shit. They're not going to invest in the dude that's the, the dude that's like, man, can you please help me out, man? Because they know you're not going to be able to pay them back. Right? They know that you know you, you, they may help you out and you might give up the next week or whatever. They, they're, people want to invest in the person who's solid. A man who's real, a man who, you know, who they, they, they're willing to bet on. Like, yo, I guarantee a year from now, this man's still going to be on point. He's still going to be doing this shit. That's the kind of man you want to be. So people will want to invest in you. People want to spend time with you. Right? So, it, you know, man, life in life, there's going to be some tough times. There's going to be some shit. I, I just got really good at reframing shit, bro. Like... I don't even see it as tough times anymore. Like, I just see it as part of the movie. It's part of the, the story, you know? The story would be boring if everything was perfect all the time. I would get bored if everything was perfect all the time. It would become normalized, right? I experience, You get to experience tremendous joy and tremendous love by experiencing tremendous pain and tremendous min misery. That's how you can measure it. That's how you can know the difference. You have to have both the yin and the yang. You have to have both sides of the spectrum. So it's just getting this understanding that it's supposed to be like that. There's supposed to be a struggle. That's how you get this opportunity to create something and evolve and achieve something. Without struggle, there would be no point. It would just be a given. And so there's, and there's no reward to that. There's no, you know what I mean? Like it, it has no value at that point. So even, even you as a man, like, you got to understand, you want to be attractive to women, 
You can't be you can't be so easy, bro. There's no value. When shit is easy to get and easy to access, we don't value it as much. There needs to be a challenge there. It's the same thing with life. We need to value life and appreciate life and appreciate the great, the good times and the bad, th the bad times, right? Because, man, you know, I, I like, I, I think about at any point in time, there's someone out there who wishes they could be in my, in my, you know, in my place, in my shoes. They're in a much worse situation. I have people hitting me up, you know, asking me for money because they don't have food. You know, people all around the world, you know, on hit me up on Facebook, you know, telling me, hey, man, uh, my family doesn't have food, money for food. And, you know, obviously I go out and I run into homeless people. There's people who would love to be in my shoes. I have no reason to complain. And I, and I don't complain. Okay? And removed it from my character. Certain qualities you want to just remove, bro. Complaining doesn't do shit. Doesn't do nothing for anybody. Okay? Learn how to see the positive everything. Learn how to reframe shit. The struggle is part of the journey. It's okay. It's all good. I'm going to get through this. Just got to stay positive. Just got to believe in myself. Just got to keep doing what I do. Discipline. Focus. Right? Got to be confident. You got to... You want to get good at... Um, this is a great quality to have as a man. You want to get good at creating states within yourself, creating emotions within yourself. Like, for example, before I did this live presentation, um, I did I did one right before this one, but before that, I took a little nap. Now, obviously, when you wake up from a nap, you're still kind of like a, um, not all the time, but you're, you're still kind of like tired a little bit, right? I'm not going to get on this presentation in a tired vibe, in a tired mood, okay? I need to change my state. I need to change my vibe. You have the power to do this. Right? You are not your emotions. You are not your body. You're not your mind. You can change shit. You can um, transfer shit. You can, uh, you know, you know, get. You can uh, basically like. One of the ways to do it is like not resisting, right? So don't resist the emotion you're feeling, right? If you feel tired, don't resist it. Just know it's temporary, and I can change this. Okay. So what do I do if I feel tired? You know, sometimes I just put on some music that's going to put me in a different vibe. And I put on some, maybe I put on some hardcore, uh, you know, hip hop. Or I might turn on some rock music. I might turn on some uh, whatever is necessary to get me in that right mood. Whatever I'm about to talk about. I want to get in the mood that's going to create the vibe that's going to hit. Okay. Um, <clears throat> or sometimes I may drop down and do some push-ups. Whatever is necessary. Sometimes I, you know, get in a certain vibe. I might get on the piano. Okay, this is a quality you want to have. You don't want to be triggered by other people. You don't want to be, uh, you know, basically relying on other people to get you in a certain vibe. You want, you need to learn how to put yourself in the in the vibe that you want to be in. Create the state of mind you want to be in. Create the emotions within yourself that you want to feel. Okay, this is a, a characteristic of a man, a quality of a man that you want to have. This gives you power. Right? This gives you this ability to be grounded because you understand how to achieve certain things, right? And you don't need to go anywhere to get it from anyone to create it within yourself, right? So the main thing I'm trying to say here is, man, just enjoy your life. Figure, like, reframe these, these concepts that we've been given. We, it's kind of like we've been trained or wired that if something's not going wrong, we're supposed to get pissed off. We're supposed to get mad. We're supposed to complain because we see other people doing it and we maybe our parents did it. I don't know. People around you did it. And so you picked it up and thought you're supposed to do it. You don't have to do that. I don't, I just don't do it. Okay. If something's not going my way, I reframe it. I say, okay, let me see how I hand, how I'm going to handle the situation. I see it as a challenge. Coronavirus came through and was locking us, had us locked up and all this shit. And I couldn't go out and do what I wanted to do. I was like, okay, it's a challenge. Let me see how I adapt. Right. This is part of my movie. This is part of my story. What happens when Trey um, is hit with a uh, coronavirus pandemic and he can't go out and do his business the way how he normally does it? What is he going to do? Right? Same thing for you. What happens when some shit goes down in your life? What are you going to do? Right? What are you doing in your movie? What happens in your movie? What happens in your story? So look, man. 
just just know you got to set some clear goals right you know when i hit you guys up and ask you uh you know and and talk to you guys one thing i always ask is what's your goal man you got to know what your goal is you got to be clear on it so you know what you you know why you're why you're going through your struggle right because if, the, if you don't know the why it's hard for you to really you know make sense of it and want to and want to go through it like i can be focused i can be disciplined i can be confident i could be committed to the struggle to the the journey to the path because i know why i'm committed i know my goal i know what i'm going after i know my vision and I believe in myself. I believe that it's possible. I believe that it's going to happen. Why do I believe this? Because of hitting these little small milestones throughout my day. Every single day, I feel like I'm winning because I have these little tasks or, or, or little things that I need to get done and I get them done. So I know I'm growing. I know I'm moving forward, right? If I'm not, if I don't do my shit, <laughs> right? If I make an excuse and I don't do my shit, I start feeling like shit because I know I'm not evolving. I know I'm not growing. I know I'm making excuses. I know I'm not tapping in my potential, right? So I just learned like, yo, this is the masculine energy. This is the manly energy. A man is not supposed to be going around complaining and bitching and moaning. That's, that shit ain't cool, bro. It's what kind of movie? I'm not trying to watch no movie where the main character is weak, where the main character is blaming others where the main character can has no balls or has no whatever like i want to watch a movie that i can respect the main character i could be like yo i want to be like him or i see some qualities in him that i would like to have in myself or i see myself in him right i watch movies like that like american gangster right movies like that um i like john wick uh these movies where these characters have these masculine traits that I can I can admire, right? John Wick, I think his his main three main qualities is uh, focus, share will, and commitment. Yeah, I fuck with that shit. I watched all the John Wick movies because that's the kind of vibe I want to carry as a man. So I can watch that and like I can feel that vibe and I can bring that back after the movie. I'm in it. I'm in that vibe. I'm like, yo, let's go. Focus, share will, and commitment. Let's get it. Right? So, but, you know, you watch that movie and you see John Wick, he goes through, <laughs> he has to fight like a hundred guys at one time and he just, he's just doing it. He's making it happen. He's not like, oh my goodness, oh, too many people here. What am I going to do? I need some help. He doesn't do that. Right? So the movie is interesting to watch, but it's, it's interesting because he's going through some struggle. He's, go, he's going through a challenge. It's tough. It's not easy. Most people would not be able to handle that shit if they, uh, 20, 20 uh, henchmen was coming up to you with knives or whatever. You, you, you wouldn't know what the hell to do. But the fact that he's able to handle it, that's what makes the movie interesting. That's what makes the story interesting. So what I'm saying is in your life, you have your different struggles, different things that you got to go through. And what makes you interesting, what makes you powerful, what makes you great is how you handle your struggle. How are you able to enjoy the struggle? John Wick looks like he's having fun. When all those men are coming at him, he's kicking their ass. He's having fun in the struggle. That's what I'm saying. We're supposed to have fun in the struggle. We're supposed to enjoy. We're supposed to be like, yo, this shit is easy. I can handle this shit, bro. This is, I can handle my life, right? And and I'm not looking for no help. I don't need no help, right? When the, in, the, in the movie, some people do come and help him. And he's like, great, you could come and help me. But I, it's not like he needs it. He's doing this shit regardless. He's going to go, he knows his goal. That's the next thing. Knowing your goal, knowing your purpose. In these movies, the character has a goal. It, it has a purpose. There's something he wants to achieve. And that's what gives him the, the motivation <clears throat> and the energy to go through the struggle. Because he knows why he's going through it. So you got you to gotta have your why. You got to have your purpose. Understand why you're doing what you're doing. All right? So that's the video. Take the advice. If you need some... Uh, guidance, some accountability, help. You want to get more focused, disciplined, confident so you can achieve your goals, whether it's with women, okay? If you want to get improved with women, if you want to make more money, if you just want to handle uh, some personal goals, whatever, hit me up. I have a program. It's called the Unbreakable Confidence Program. Um, I'll put you on and, and get you right. All right, thanks for watching. Peace.